I'm excited to get today's craft started. So let me give you guys a clue as to what we'll be making. Today's craft is all about a sea animal. Yeah, this animal lives in the sea, but it's not a fish. It has gills. Mm -hmm. It has a long face. Mm -hmm. It swims, but it doesn't really have fins like a fish. Mm -hmm. It has a long, curvy tail. It's really good at holding on tight to the leaves in the sea, and it sways back and forth. <laughs> Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about seahorse. We're gonna be making craft seahorses today. Let me show you what you'll be needing to get started. But before I do, make sure that you're always doing your crafts with a grown-up. First thing you're going to need is a paper plate. It can be small or large, doesn't really matter. Any size you'd like to use. Next, you're going to need a pair of scissors. And we always use our scissors with a grown-up. Scissors, scissors start with S. Next, you're going to need different types of paper. The first type of paper you'll be needing is color paper or construction paper. For this craft, you're also going to need tissue paper. This is that special thin paper that grown-ups usually put inside gifts. <laughs> tissue paper, any color you like. You're going to need some markers, some googly eyes, and last but not least, you'll be needing school glue. Once you have everything you need and you're grown up, get ready because we're going to get started. The first thing you wanna do guys is grab any color construction paper you like. And we're gonna draw a couple of things and cut them out. This is going to be the face and the tail of the seahorse, okay? So first thing we're going to do is draw out a face. And it's not hard, draw a curvy line. Then a straight line down, curvy line, bring it down, and straight line down. This is gonna be the nose of the seahorse and the face. Now let's draw the tail. We're just gonna draw a curvy line and round. Do that again. This is gonna be your seahorse's curvy tail. Good. Now, after we've done that, let's go ahead and take our scissors and cut these pieces out. Okay guys, here I have it. After I cut it out, I flip it over so it has a more, you know, neat look. See, so that way you won't see my drawing. Look at this curly, whirly tail, woo, woo. <laughs> We're gonna be adding this to another piece of paper, okay? Let's go ahead, grab another piece of paper, and also grab your paper plates. Remember this, guys? You're gonna take your paper plates and cut it in half. So that it looks like this, okay? So after you have your half a paper plate, you're going to add some glue to the back. And keep your glue close by because we're going to need lots of glue in this project. Okay, so add your plate to, here we go. Now you're going to add the face, add some glue. Mm -hmm. 
and the curly whirly tail. paper remember this guys I just cut it up into lots of little pieces and this is tissue paper that makes me happy I have some with polka dots I have some pink and I also have some blue oh I also have my googly eyes oh let me add that before I forget so let's go ahead before the tissue paper and just add the googly eyes googly eyes got stuck see all you need is one. There you go. Hi, ah, it's coming alive already. Now just add some more glue all to the belly. This is your seahorse's belly. The body. And then I'm just gonna add all of the tissue paper to it. For some finishing touches, go ahead and grab any marker you like and just add some detail to your seahorse. So seahorses usually have some ridges going along, kind of like a little mohawk on their heads and their bodies. And let's draw some spikes going down on a little seahorse body. <laughs> now I'm gonna use a blue marker some bubbles. A seahorse is under the sea. <laughs> and some little ripples. Woo! There you have it, friends. Our seahorse is complete. So there you have it, you guys, my Kitty Craft Seahorse Project. I had so much fun with this one, you guys. I hope you did too. I loved how the little seahorse actually turned out with the tissue paper. If you guys liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so that way you can see all of my latest posts in my craft corner. Thank you guys so much for being creative with me and learning and having fun. This is Lady Long. Hope to see you soon. Happy learning.